Uh, anyway, as I was saying, sorry about that uh, little cut. I have to get uh, good shots for these uh, remaining Pokemon. Because of this awkward turn, I can't just go in a straight line like originally planned. I have to set things up and stuff. So anyway, um, I I liked the uh, the additions in um, the second generation. I didn't think they were forced that much. Like mm -hmm. some Pokemon, you might have been actually looking at, saying, "Oh, come on, there has to be more." Mm -hmm. Like this this doesn't this looks a little too uh, ferocious or something uh, for um, for a fully evolved or just a single. Evolutionary mm -hmm. Single line. family, yeah. So like Magmar, Smoochum, all them. They got, you know, babies. Baby ba mm -hmm. baby forms. Um, and they were okay. Oh, um, no. Dragonair's face is cut off. I'll have to go back to the beginning of that. Anyway. Um, again. So, like, yeah. Ow. They and also, also uh, just the whole Generation 2, the game... Uh, how it added male and female breeding program uh, stuff like that. It just added more. Mm -hmm. I, I like that. I like that. The uh, the second really did a, an amazing job at being a, a sequel. Yeah, because also it didn't add a ridiculous amount of Pokemon, and it was still understandable to try to catch 251. Mm -hmm. And Dragonair's still not loaded. Is this going to be the same Ivysaur or Venusaur Pro? Come on, don't do this. Don't do this to me, girl. Shoot. I'm just gonna fly out to him and poke it in the face. But, yeah, I don't know. I just... After the third generation, I declared Pokemon as deceased. <laughs> Derek, yeah. can you quickly fly uh, into Dragonair's uh, face? To yeah. try to load it, because it's just from its chin to its tail, it's not loading for me. Mm. No, well, he's loaded for me. So, if I, I if I ruin, I, I I might ruin the uh, the line I have going here. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's um, being a huge Venus right now. Anyway, yeah. Um, also, in the second generation, a lot of my favorite Pokemon came into that. Uh, Hound Hour and Hound Doom, still to this day my favorite Pokemon. Uh, Entei and Ho Oh, my favorite legendaries by far. Um, Kingdra, I love Kingdra. <laughs> uh, Ms. Drevious, the only. Or how do you exactly pronounce her name? I heard like seven different pronunciations of her. Uh, we'll say Ms. Drevious now. I'm not. Ms. Drevious, Ms. Drevious, Mistrevious. Guy Ritchie, I don't tons of <laughs> fucking pronunciations, yeah. but yeah, uh, the first pure ghost type Pokemon. It was interesting. Mm -hmm. Also, I just okay. Another thing, I think I told you uh, this before. I probably did. I definitely did. How legendaries like the legendary birds, mm -hmm. they were so braggable. You could brag to your friends that oh i got a legendary bird it's like oh my god you piece of shit and now oh, it, it's scripted into the games that you have to catch the legendaries like after generation two generation three four and five they were all scripted that you have to catch that legendary pokemon i actually think in ruby and sapphire you could kill the pokemon and just get away with it you didn't have to catch it but you had to battle it at least Mm -hmm. It's part of the story. I remember back in the first uh, Red and Blue and um, Silver and Gold, the main story was Team Rocket doing stupid shit. Mm -hmm. and, um, up to the know, shenanigans. Up to the er, friggin' shenanigans and stuff. And um, <clears throat> it, uh, it, th that was the main plot. Really, to stop them and to, you know, find Trainer Red, who was fucking the greatest badass ever. <laughs> you honestly, you gotta think about that. You played as him in the game before. That is amazing feeling. <laughs> that you're just there. It's like, it, well, technically, if you played Pokemon Yellow, then you've played as Red. But, because. Yeah, that was my starters. game. But. <sighs> 
It just was so awesome. You go up to someone who you were playing as before, and then you kick his ass. <laughs> like, oh my god. <laughs> like, it just felt good. It's like, oh my god, you were me, and I'm you. Let's touch penises. <laughs> but only after I kick your ass. <laughs> um, I do actually also prefer the um, remastered Heart Gold and Soul Silver version of Red. Because for some reason they gave him an Espeon in the gold one. That made no sense. Lapras does make sense. Mm -hmm. Because one, Lapras is awesome and rare. And apparently you can only catch him on Fridays. And yeah. also, since Red is also somewhat based off of ash from the anime because of the pikachu and that's the whole where yellow came from and stuff so on um it i'm pretty sure yeah ash had lapras right uh, of course he said it free point. too because he's an idiot and sets all his good pokemon free <laughs> honestly what the fuck is wrong with that kid charizard you're such such a strong pokemon go away pidgeot i'll promise i'll visit you didn't i promise some douchebag i'd visit him Butterfree. Peace. <laughs> of course, all the Pokemon he keeps Pikachu. No. Oh. I wouldn't keep Pikachu. No. Pikachu's the icon. Yeah. For Speaking of Pikachu being the icon, is there anyone else, or how many other, because there is others, how many others refuse to let your Pikachu evolve just because you couldn't do it? You, you couldn't do it. Uh, yeah, and Yellow it wouldn't let you. Huh, no. But, um... I actually prefer Raichu. I love Raichu. He's just so. Uh, I like Raichu. He looks cool. He's like he's a uh, uh, he's based off a of kangaroo rat, and for some reason, fucking Dragonair still won't load for me. What the fuck? This is turning into another Venusaur. What was wrong with the first shot? Uh, the the one that's just one continuous thing. Yeah. Uh, easy. I move too quickly. And you could see, like, I didn't set it up, so I didn't, like, line up. So then when I was moving, uh, as I said, the bottom, it's not in focus. No. Uh, so so we, can't, we can't uh, salvage it? Or it's... No. This is it's, completely unusable? It's pretty... That last part there is completely unusable. I could use the entire other take. Oh, yeah, okay. Up to that point. Mm. That's why I'm refilming this. And for fuck's sakes, Dragonair, just load! <laughs> now it's even trying to, like, nom nom up Dratini. Its ear is fucking gone. And now I can only see the bend in its back and the tip of its tail. For Dragonair. Like, just, can you load, please? Came this far, I don't want to fuck it up again. God, just load! <laughs> um, anyway. Oh my god, I'm actually gonna have to like, go up chunk by chunk and fucking touch it. <laughs> touch it. Oh, yeah. Ah, this mountain business is upsetting. Yeah. Honestly, sorry if, um, not to you, Derek. Sorry to the viewers that um, this might appear kind of choppy and such, but um, blame the stupid map. For some reason, it decided to say, I don't want to be a flat world map anymore. I want to grow mountains. <laughs> so it went through puberty and uh. um, changed. I, I don't understand that. I thought games stopped thinking for themselves after Jumanji. <laughs> um it, what, what, what sucks is that this is the second time it's happened. I mean, it happened back when we were doing Dodrio. Yeah, way, way back when. But at least Derek caught it f before it started generating mountains. Yeah. Because he saved a backup. But for some reason, we didn't think to save another backup. When we, we didn't think it just, in, just in case of anything, really. Just in case the main copy got corrupted or something. We didn't think about saving a backup. So... It was kind of our own fault, but the map shouldn't just fucking decide to change. It doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. Um, so, now you know. 
uh, always, always, always save a precious world. Twice. Yes. Yes. <sighs> Did it load? Yeah, it loaded. Um, this is pro. This will be good. Okay. Well, this is us. Uh, um, done. Yeah, pretty much. Um, keep remembering the classics, I guess. <sighs> Don't let the classics die. Don't forget about Charmander and Squirtle and Bulbasaur. Your buddies. They'll always be there for you. Oh yeah, look at the new skin. Cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yeah, peace. <laughs>